Hi, welcome to another episode of China Challenges. Today we are going to have a video of what to do in Nanjing, part of the YouTube Content Collaborators group. Uh, we are here in uh, Shenwu Lake and we're going to go look at the wall, Shenwu Lake and uh, Lovers Park. So first, uh, for this park, if you go on the wall, you need to buy a ticket. So we're going to go buy a ticket. It's 30 per person and uh, it's pretty easy to get. Oh, successful! That's great! Ding, ding. Thank you. Thank you. Now, so, the city wall goes all around the city, but this is one of the most beautiful places because it is on the next, next to a lake and a mountain. There are people who take wedding pictures here. There's one over here. Let's go. One of the things that if you want to come look at the wall is they'll have inscriptions and these are the people who made the bricks and so in the old days when uh, they used to sign the bricks so that if the bricks failed or were found to be poor quality then the people who made it could be punished. I think in the Qin dynasty when they had the great wall they used to take the whole family and send them to a labor camp if they had poor quality bricks. So, talk about pressure. Yeah, take a look at that. Woo, what a nice day. Uh, so, little perspective. On the left we have the Gulo area and Shrembu Lake, with the Western Hotel and the Zifong Tower. The eighth tallest building in the world. Well, it used to be at least. <laughs> uh, across the way you have the train station. All over here we have Shrembu Lake. It's a free park with several islands inside that you can cross over bridges to get into. Um, and then on the right side we have Purple Mountain. Uh, in China we have a saying, Yoshan Yoshre, some place is beautiful if it has a water feature and a mountain feature. And this has got everything. And so here's the temple over here. It's actually an operating temple. There are monks there. You can go and buy incense and pray. Yeah. Um, but part of it is also one of the best uh, vegetarian restaurants it's in Nanjing. It's fancy. Very nice. Yeah. Uh, and they have fake meat dishes. So uh, sweet and sour pork is a common uh, dish in China. Yeah. And they have a replica meat uh, sweet and sour pork dish. And on this is, it looks just like it when it comes out with the sauce and the fried ones and then you bite into it and I think it's uh, it tastes like one I think it's eggplant inside yeah, but yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it's delicious still. Yeah. Uh, um, so you have these walls and it's quite steep you know they didn't bring good little walls <laughs> uh, unlike a lot of modern architecture which has a lot of stairs everywhere this one has stairs but it also has uneven cobblestones. We're going to go into here which is the Wall Museum. It shows uh, some information about change of Nanjing. Rooming uh, Jie So this is the communists coming into Nanjing in 1949, uh, April 24th. Um, also the so, my kids like this because of the cannons, the different styles of cannons. Um, some of these are older ones that are for the wall. Usually the bigger ones are for the wall. Um, also, we get further down a bit and we have some uh, ones that are based for ships. These are also likely front-loading ones. One time my uh, cell phone fell out while I was riding my bike back yeah. from the, the lake to my house. Yeah. And, uh, and then I was worried about it, but I hadn't 
put a password on it. And so somebody sends uh, a message on the moment saying, he's lost his phone. Please call, call me if you want to go find your phone. And then I called them and said, oh, I, it's, it's been two hours. We had to go home. So we left it with the, the guard at the, uh, at the party, uh, uh, party meeting hall. I was like, okay, so I ran over. But because it's like a military area, uh, and the, the soldier, they had to go through a lot of uh, uh, procedures and look at my passport. But then they gave me my cell phone back. It was, it was pretty cool. What was that? It was like two years ago, three years ago. About three days ago, uh, my wife lost her phone. Oh, yeah? Because oh. my son put it under the ground. I forgot to pick it up. And some delivery guy um, took it. Yeah. And, um, you know, give it back. Oh, that's awesome. It's very nice. Yeah. Very good experience. Yeah. So this is Shun Lake. It's massive, right? It's yeah. massive. It's huge. And that's Purple Mountain. Also massive. And also it's massive. right in the middle of the city. Yeah. So we call it like a green lung. So it's produced like most of the oxygen. Yeah. It's okay. very nice. During the night time, you can see a lot of people juggling, running, you know, yeah, riding bicycles. When I first came to China, you had a charge to get into pay. Oh, yeah. Um, but now it's free. It's and, free now, yeah. Uh, and they also have certain events. Like we recently had National Day where they had fireworks here. And um, you have a little tea shop with vending machines if you want to take a break. Uh, my kids got a Coke. Yeah, last time. Oh, nice. Welcome to automation. <laughs> yeah, it's a vending machine. It's a vending machine. It's like... And it's a coffee vending machine. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is pretty good. This is also a big change from when I first came when there was not as many self-serve things and there were just little people with little stalls everywhere. Some elephants. <laughs> and little angels. <laughs> Babies playing with the fish and other stuff. Oh, this is pretty. Yeah. Nice time of year, got changing leaves. Yeah. How they use the, the plants to create shade and give you a tunnel experience. Careful. This is like a the Japan temple kind of experience, right? A little bit. E yeah. Except they're using the red wooden frames, and this is like a a concrete. Yeah. yeah. I think Beijing they have more colored woods. Yeah, 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 true, like true, true. Some palace style. Yeah, things. yeah. Yeah, All right. Say hi. Bamboo forest. Ancient garden with the willow trees and the old style bridge. And then the two the tower in the back. The what? And there are lots Big of contrast. And the different colours, you know, yeah. there's a red and yellow piece as well. It's very nice. It's even hard for me to see, kind of focus on what's going on. <laughs> I think this... Welcome to the bamboo forest. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, where are we going? We're fine. going to find the boats. Let's go. Go slowly. Go slowly. Just go slowly. Okay. Yeah, yeah, going slowly. Don't, don't fall down the stairs. <laughs> For our boat are rising. 
Safety first, right? Yeah. Brother, you don't need it. Hmm. Go round and round in front of the door. No, don't go out of the door. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yes. Okay, so there's two types of prices. Um, for a small uh, square one, you have uh, for 100 kwai for two hours. Um, you have to give a deposit of 300 kwai. If you want a full barbecue set, that is uh, 350 for two hours uh, for four persons. That's with the uh, big barbecue hood. Up to 10 people. Okay. Here's the grilling. We got, what do we got, Keith? We got sausages and potatoes and flames. Lamb skewers, yeah. yeah. Some kebabs. And uh, some chicken fillets. Yeah. So that's Shenwu Lake. Whether you're visiting as a tourist and want to see some historical places or just a place to hang out and have a barbecue, it's a great place to visit in Nanjing. See you next time. Please remember to subscribe and check out my other videos. Bye.